In 2007, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York held their summer exhibition entitled Paul Poiré, King of Fashion. Until that point, Poiré had been largely forgotten. Now his name is amongst hallowed ground with every other major couturier of the 20th century. But his moment was brief. It was the early part of the 20th century, really 1900 to about 1920. And Poiré was more than just a designer. Poiré was an incredible marketeer. He was really a brand expert before the idea became a part of fashion or a part of commerce. He was the first designer to launch his own signature fragrance. He was the first designer to branch into lifestyle, setting up his own interior design house. He was the first designer to have his clothing photographed as works of art, rather than just within a trade journal. And he also understood the idea of reaching out to your client. So at one point when his business was suffering and he wanted to expand the message a little bit, capture even more of the global market, rather than hiring a small salon in London for a show, he contacted one of his clients, Mrs. Asketh, and held his London show at 10 Downing Street. Poiré's work was fanciful, it was extraordinary, it was about theatre, it was about luxuriousness, it was about opulence. He brought the trousers as we know them into women's wardrobes. He brought bizarre shaped lampshade tunics into the wardrobe. He created the hobble skirt. He brought in elements of fashion which we still use today and the idea of how it's represented, but sadly, with the First World War and the changes within Europe, Poiré really struggled. He couldn't hold his own. The whole of Paris and Haute Couture was in terrible, terrible trouble. And in 1927, Poiré as a house was declared bankrupt. And the last collection was sold by the Kilo. It was sold as rags. The man who was the toast of Paris and who the Met called the King of Paris died penniless. His funeral was paid for by Elsa Scaparelli. The Syndicat de Haute Couture pretty much turned their back on him. And for a man who trained at Worth, who inspired Doucet, who inspired Scaparelli, who changed the shape of fashion as we know it, as we build it and as we market it, it was a very sad end. But this dress, which is by Paul Poiré from about 1924, shows everything that he believed in. Freeing a woman from a corset, working with vertically draped panels rather than as an approach to tailleur and tailoring, he wanted women to be beautiful, but he wanted them to wear a garment that echoed the life he hoped they would live. 